so welcome guys once again and today we are going through a histopathology short notes all you know we are going through a series of mcre and this is not only for mcre some of the papers are saying for this exam for that exam so this is not for particular one exam you can use it for uh, every uh, our um, medical lab technology exam so this is very useful for all of for uh, in all your exams now we are talking about the introduction to histopathology histo means tissue and patho means disease and logy means study so histopathology mean a microscopic study of a disease tissue right here is the difference between histopathology and histology in histology we are studying about the normal in histology we are studying the study of normal tissue but whereas in case of pathology we are studying the disease tissue this is a very big difference and important difference between histopathology and histology now what is their purpose it help or aid in the diagnosis and treatment planning so for treatment and diagnosis we use this right now we have a branches of histopathology uh, uh, like a surgical pathology cytopathology forensic pathology and neuropathology as the name suggest in case of surgical biops, uh, pathology we basically remove from any surgery uh, like tissue like biopsy from any uh, uh, organ maybe liver spleen anything from else we if we take the bunches of cells or we can say tissue so in that case uh, this is known as a surgical uh, pathology examine of biopsy specimen right in case of cytopathology study of individual cell so here is a big difference uh, tissue is a multiple group of cell while individual cell is a one cell which contains cytoplasm and nucleus as per the where the cell is representative right so we can get this individual cell from the fluid and scraping also in case of pap smear example is very best for the cytopathology now another is the forensic pathology as a name to the forensic so study to tissue determine the cause of death in case of any death unnatural death so forensic team goes and uh, take the specimen all you know the famous serial cid in which you hear the term of forensic pathology in case of neuropathology uh, study of disease affecting the nervous system so as a name to this neuro means uh, brain related R right so study of disease affecting the nervous system what is their importance help in diagnosis of cancer this is a very imp important thing uh, histopathology mainly we uh, do for identify the cancer or a malignant stage right an infection inflammatory disease or degenerative disorder right now another we have a important thing uh, for mlt student right this is very important exam point of view also histo uh, histological technique so what are the technique we are using to obtaining the best tissue for e examine under microscope histological technique involve preparing tissue sample for microscopic examination so basically uh, we have a, uh, a tissue piece from organ maybe from kidney liver etc so we have to prepare it for microscopic examination right so what are the middle step this is come under uh, so these all step come under histological technique the process include fixation processing embedding section uh, sectioning staining and mounting so these are the total uh, uh, six steps we are using to get the microscopic examination of the that tissue which we obtain from an disease uh, or uh, the part of the body right now first part is our tissue collection fixation so specimen collection we have a biopsy uh, sample surgical specimen or autopsy autopsy from the dead tissue uh, right now down this is, is very important point autopsy from only death or dead person right autopsy never we get from the living being it is after the post mortem so as uh, you can see here we will return the collected post uh, post mortem for forensic investigation right now another is biopsy specimen so collected via needle biopsy excisional biopsy or endoscopic biopsy so these are the different type of uh, biopsy we taken uh, from the human being another is surgical biopsy removing uh, during uh, surgeries so when during a surgery we remove a particular thing that we come under the surgical biopsy such as mastectomy and colectomy right colon right digestive tract and this is the breast in case of female right another is fixation very very important part of uh, our histopathology for the medical laboratory technologist fixation what is the definition processing of 
preserving the tissue structure and preserving degrade, uh, preventing degradation so when we remove any tissue from the body so natural process there is a autopsy uh, autolysis and uh, putrefaction these two are thing which destroys our tissue right so to maintain it's like an original state we use this fixation step right so what are the common fixation uh, fixative our 10 percent neutral buff buffered for when this is very important please 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 10 percent neutral buff buffered for when is very important sometimes it, it is uh, right editing as a neutral formula but uh, buffered is very very important right so it maintain the pH so that the staining or any other uh, when we do a thing after this fixation so it not uh, change the tissue morphology or the structure right so buffered is very important for the uh, maintaining the pH for uh, in case of staining process right for the staining this buffered is very important right another we have a good quality height for uh, this is used for uh, electron microscopy as you know this is a short note so please write down uh, volatility height for electron microscopy another we have a bounce fluid for delicate structure like testes uh, or for GI tract another is a coronal fixative used for rapid fixation for rapid fi fixation we use coronal uh, fixative uh, special cytology uh, we have a Zanker Halley's fixative for bone marrow this is very important for bone marrow we use Zanker uh, formalin or fixative right now factor affecting fixation so there is some uh, fa factor that affect the fixation uh, they may be volume time pH etc so first of all is a fixative volume ratio so volume it should be 10 raised to 1 if sometime it's 1 raised to, uh, 1 raised to 20 also one part of our specimen and 20 part of our uh, f fixative right time of fixation 6 to 24 hour for routine specimen so it may be take longer in case of longer uh, our organ but in case of biopsy it may be fixed within uh, 4 to 6 hour right ps 7. Uh, 7.4 formalin acidic for buoyant fluid so in case of buoyant fluid we use acidic but in case of normal in case of like formalin we uh, commonly use in our lab so the pH should be between 7 right temperature room temperature uh, for routine and cold temperature for enzyme study here i am talking the uh, very important thing you also please note down if increase temperature so the our fixation time also increase right this is also very important if we increase temperature little bit not up to the extent but little bit right our room temperature is maybe 25 so if we take 30 or 32 so the processing speed is increased right now tissue processing which is very important in case of our histopathology purpose convert soft tissue into form block for sectioning so we have uh, organ se liya ek soft tissue hai usko hame thick karna hai for the cutting so the process come under tissue processing right step involved dehydration clearing and impregnation what is dehydration dehydration means remove the water hydration meaning water d means removing right remove water using increasing alcohol concentration so pehle hum 70% then 80% 90% and 100% 100% it's mean 100% alcohol 90% mean 90% alcohol and 10% water 80% mean 80% alcohol and 20% water aisa kyun kar rahe hum agar sudden changes denge to it, it may be affect the tissue right another we have a clearing agent so clearing agent basically remove the our alcohol right replace alcohol with xylene or chloroform making the tissue transparent so it help making the tissue transparent for the further studies right another we have a impregnation now we replace the alcohol with this paraffin right infiltrate basically we enter the paraffin inside the tissue which make the tissue solid right so in, uh, infiltration of paraffin to tissue paraffin for routine histology resin for electron microscopy here is the another point you get uh, we use resin in case of electron microscopy right embedding so and in the previous step this suppose this is our tissue so we infiltrate our paraffin which make the solid inside the tissue right otherwise tissue may be fold due to instability but this uh, paraffin wax when enter inside tissue it make the tissue form right after that embedding we make the tissue hard from outer side also so that it help in uh, cutting or sectioning purpose provide support the tissue for sectioning mainly sectioning uh, in case of uh, microtomy right common embedding medium we have a paraffin wax epoxy resin and gelatin 
so commonly used be paraffin wax light microscopy epoxy resin as i, I already told you in case of electro microscopy gelatin we used previously and sometime also used for enzyme histochemistry right this is very important for enzyme histochemistry process tissue is placed in the mold sorry there is a some noise from the phone so tissue in uh, tissue is placed in the mold mold like we have a mold this type we place the tissue and we pour the paraffin so paraffin outside the tissues so as this is our not a large video this is a short note so i think all you know this so i am not explaining everything in much detail right if you want you can go through our all uh, histopathology videos in the youtube so you can check the details right now we have embedding wax and solidify that uh, proper orientation orientation very important in case of skin or some other tissue right uh, like we have to put in longitudinal cross sectional view so this is very important for the histopathologist another we have a microtomy sectioning of tissue we have a rotator microtome sludge microtome and cryostat cryostat for frozen section in frozen section we use cryostat for intraoperative diagnosis so cryost uh, frozen section very important for the in case of emergency when patient in the emergency or in the ot operation theater so doctor remove some of the part or some of the biopsy they send to us we quick um, so cryostat main another purpose is, is very quick so we have to give report generally in case of histopathy it take around uh, 24 to 72 hours for the reports based on what type of specimen we have but in case of cryostat we have to give quick detail because the uh, our patient is open in the ot right during surgery so we are giving report within 30 minutes like 15 to 30 minutes so at that time this is very important for the technician also uh, for the safety or to save the life of the patient right we have a sludge microtome for heart tissue we using sludge microtome or a rotatory for paraffin embedding tissue right now uh, how much thick thickness we take 3 to 5 uh, is the rough cutting uh, sorry fine cutting for routine histology uh, in case of uh, rough cutting 10 micron is very important please note down 10 to 15 micro uh, for the rough cutting and for fine cutting in case of histology routine specimen we are using 3 to 5 micron right semi uh, thin section for, like, for electron microscope one uh, micron right right one micron or maybe lesser than one in case of uh, thick section we take also for research study that is 10 to 15 microtome and and this is also a rough cutting uh, another we have a staining technique purpose kya and is the contrast to visualize the tissue component right this is the common uh, we can say the definition to provide contrast so we have routine staining hnd hematoxylin eosin hematoxylin stain the nuclei blue and purple hematoxylin stain uh, uh, blue to the nuclei eosin is pink for the cytoplasm collagen and uh, muscles right we have a uh, some special stain also pass periodic acid shift for glycogen mucin uh, it give a magenta color right jadan gene cell for acid fast bacilli that uh, come under tb bacteria right mesen trichom for collagen uh, that give blue and green and muscles to red right gimsa stain for blood smear uh, like h pylori detection in case of uh, stomach right this is very important <coughs> congo red for amyloid deposit this give red color we you uh, st- uh, um, see under the polarizing microscope all this oil red o for the lipid and for frozen section also we use right next step is and last step is mounting so we prepare the tissue stain that now we have to preserve it for long term so we uh, cover it with cover slip using dpx right sectioning are uh, placed on the glass slide mount with dpx so this is very important synthetic resin and after the labeling the number the name according to the lab protocol right we label it so this is a part microscopy in histopathology we use light microscope such as uh, bright field microscope routine hnd staining face contrast for unstained for unstained specimen we use this face contrast polarizing microscope for amyloid i already told you for amyloid uh, here congo red ke amyloid deposit ke liye now fluorescent microscope fluorescent dye use karte hain hum 
बेसिकली इम्यूनो हिस्टोकेमिस्ट्री केस में इन्फेक्शन और ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज इलेक्ट्रो माइक्रोस्कोप अल्ट्रा स्ट्रक्चर डिटेल जहां हमें देखनी है ऑर्गेनिल्स की राइट right? आपने सुना होगा कि न्यूक्लियस ऐसा होता है साइटो सॉरी हमारे माइट्रोकोन ऐसे होते तो कहां दिखते हैं वो दीज ऑल डिटेल कम अंडर द इलेक्ट्रो माइक्रोस्कोप हिस्टोलो हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी ऑफ डिजीज सो वी हैव इन्फ्लामेशन एक्यूट एंड क्रॉनिक इन केस ऑफ एक्यूट इन्फ्लामेशन न्यूट्रोफिल एडिमा रेडनेस पेन ये सब दिखेंगे पेशेंट की बॉडी के ऊपर इन केस ऑफ क्रॉनिक वी सी द मैक्रोफेज फाइब्रोसिस टिश्यू डिस्ट्रक्शन और इन केस ऑफ टीबी वी कैन ऑफ सी ग्रेनोलोमा अनदर इज ट्यूमर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन केस ऑफ हिस्टोपैथोलोसाइटोपैथोली वी हैव अ बिनाइन एंड मलिंगन बिनाइन इज वी कैन से काइंड ऑफ नॉर्मल थिंग राइट स्लो ग्रोइंग वेल डिफाइंड लाइपोमा एडिनोमा बेसिकली ट्यूमर मीन द डोर इज मेकिंग नॉइज सो बेसिकली ट्यूमर मीन्स वेर द ग्रोथ इज एबनॉर्मल राइट सो इन केस लाइफ ऑफ मेडिनोमा वी कैन सी दिस मेलिग्नेंट इज एबनॉर्मल ग्रोथ बट दिस इज वेरी डेंजरस राइट इनवेसिव एंड मेटास्टेटिक इन केस ऑफ कार्सिनोमा एंड सार्कोमा वी कैन सी दिस ऑर्गन स्पेसिफिक पैथोलॉजी भी है हमारे पास इन केस ऑफ लीवर सिरोसिस हेपेटाइटिस फैटी लीवर इन केस ऑफ किडनी ग्रमुलर फ्रैक्टस रीनल कार्सिनोमा इन केस ऑफ लंग्स वी हैव अ निमोनिया लंग्स कैंसर ऑल दिस थिंग कम अंडर स्पेसिफिक ऑर्गन राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग थ्रू अटॉप्सी हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी अटॉप्सी एज नेम सजेस्ट फॉर द डेड पर्सन राइट डिटरमाइन कॉज ऑफ डेथ अंडरलाइन पैथोलॉजी सो बेसिकली वेन वी हैव इंश्योरेंस फॉर द पेशेंट फॉर द बॉडी so at that time the insurance company came and um, want to know the reason at that in that case they sent the specimen for autopsy in some murder cases uh, such as legal cases right in that case we also use this autopsy histopathology sample are taken from the organ like brain heart liver and lungs as per the uh, cause of death so we take that uh, or, or um, autopsy from the organ right another we have a lab laboratory safety and this is not only for histopathy all over our uh, medical laboratory stream or the medical field fixative handling avoid inhalation of formalin fumes use fume hood so we generally use fume hoods right and inhalation is very very dangerous for the person sometime formalin also goes itching to the skin right so we have to uh, take prevention use gloves right in case of biohazard uh, dis uh, disposable separating bean from tissue chemical and sharps so we have another biomedical waste management uh, we have uh, special uh, color code like red yellow black and blue for the sharps so this is very important common term you can all uh, also uh, hear in all the topic of our uh, medical lab technology personal protective equipment pp and covid and the pp is very important uh, all the all the layman also know about this pp personal protective equipment gloves lab coat goggles shield that prevent you from the dangers infection chemical and microbes from the environment so this is a video uh, short notes for the histopathology i hope i include most of thing maybe something missing so this is very important you can use it for your various exam not only for the mcre thank you uh, last we do we have a satrology not a list so we will upload as soon as possible thank you all of you